Hello. In the past video, we have seen how to do a model analysis on a few plots. In this video, we will actually see how to do a static analysis on a few plots. Before that, let us see what are the forces that a fuselage experiences. The cross-section of the fuselage experiences y direction of force, a z direction force, a torsion, a moment about z and moment about y. The torsion is nothing but the moment about x axis. To apply this load, model a mass element about the center of that particular cross section and link this mass element to every other node on the on that particular cross section of the fuselage so that any force or moment experienced by this mass element is actually transferred to the every node which is actually connected to it so this node about about which the mass element is mesh is called the master node and every other node which is actually influenced by the master node is called a slave node to have a mass element to have a mass element in the center of this extreme cross section first of all you need to have a key point but we have already created a key point about 600 comma 0 in the past video so I'll actually mesh that key point to a mass element so first of all create a mass element to do so get into element type add element delete add mass circle mass 3d mass 21 say ok close and mass element does take the real constant and that would be the mass itself give the mass as small as possible because it may actually affect the problem so giving mass very negligible will not actually affect the problem say ok go to mesh mesh tool as we are in a element plot we are not able to see the key points go to plot key point say ok so this is a key point which is 600 comma 0 i'll mesh that key point to be a mass element first of all set the element attribute to be a mass element say ok and the quantity that we need to be meshed is key point mesh select the concerned key point say ok so this key point is actually measured to be a mass element so go to plot element you can actually see a mass element up there so this would be a mass element now this mass element need to be connected to every other node on the extreme cross section now how do you do that so to actually connect this mass element to every other node on this cross section first of all highlight the nodes which are on this cross section to do so get into select entities you actually find different quantities nodes elements volumes areas lines and key points now we only want to element highlight nodes so nodes say ok front view select the nodes that are to be highlighted go to box selection select the extreme nodes and say ok when you say plot nodes the only nodes which you have selected will be projected upon so now you need to connect this master node to every other node on this on the fuselage to do so get into coupling rigid region option it is asking to pick up the master node select the center node say ok now it is asking you to pick the slave node so go to circular option select ev every other node except the master node and say ok and it must be applicable in all the directions so 
all applicable to yeah, okay. So you can see that the master node is connected to every other node on the fuse line. So now to plot every other node in the problem, say select everything and go to plot and node. So you have plotted every node which is presented, which is present in the problem. So to actually highlight some particular nodes or some particular areas or lines or volumes, you can go to select say entities and select the quantities to be plotted, say OK and select the nodes and plot them. So now you have modeled it, you can actually apply loads. To do so, go to loads, define, apply, force and movement on the key point and select the master node. So this would be the master node. Say OK. You can see that you can actually apply FX, FY, FZ, MX, MY, and MZ. MX would be the torsion. So now in this problem, I'll be applying FY, that is minus 1000, apply, and I'll also apply torsion, that is MX, that would be just the 1000, a positive one. Okay, okay. So now as you have applied every load and constrained it in the right way, you can actually solve it. Solution is done. To plot the results, go into general post posture. Plot results, nodal solution, displacement vector sum, say OK. So you can see that the fuselage has deformed. I'll take the uniform edge itself. So you can see that the fuselage is deformed. And you can actually plot the rotation vector sum. You can also see that the fuselage has also rotated due to the torsion. To have actual look at your fuselage, go to plot controls, style, size and shape, say display element display of element on, say OK. You can see that the fuselage now has some thickness and it also has your launch rounds or your bulkhead sorry launch rounds so this will be a launch round and this will be a thickness of your fuselage so this is how you will actually do the static analysis on a few charts. Till the next video, thank you and bye.